Good morning, good morning. Listen, I want to ask you a question. Well, many questions. Have you ever had those questions where you ask yourself, will this prophecy ever come to pass? Was it really from God? Did God really say I should move? Am I really called? Is it God or is it me? Well, those questions are the oldest trick in the book. And the very person that is behind or entity or adversary is the devil. That's who is behind those questions. When you have a little doubt of what God has said, his promises, then the devil is working behind the scenes to give you those voices. Those are not your thoughts. Those are thoughts that are inflicted in your mind. And it's up to you whether to choose to partner with the devil and agree with him and take those thoughts. Or another way would be not to take the thoughts and tell him way to get off, get thee behind me, Satan. In Genesis 3, 1, 2, 3, the serpent comes to Eve and he says, Did God really say? You see, it sounds familiar, right? Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every fruit of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has, God has said, You shall not eat, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, Listen, you will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desirable to make one wise, she took of it. She took of its fruit and ate. So she also gave to her husband with her and he ate. How do we partake of the lies of the devil? Because God gave Adam an instruction not to eat of the garden, of the tree in the garden, in the midst of the garden. But then <clears throat> the devil in his cunning ways, in his cunning ways, comes to you and makes you doubt the integrity of God. If God said it, it settles it. No question asked. If the devil comes to you and asks you, has God said you are called? Tell him, yes, it is written. If the devil comes to you and say, did God? Yes, he did. Because you heard God. The Bible says his sheep know his voice. You know his voice. You know his voice. So don't let the devil come to you and make you doubt what God has said. This guy, or whoever he is, the devil says to Jesus, If, if you are a son of God, he knew very well that Jesus was the son of God. He knew very well, but he says, if you are the son of God, turn those stones to bread. And what did Jesus do? He answered with the word and he said, it is written, man shall not eat by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds the mouth of God. We need to answer the devil exactly that. Somebody said Eve was not even supposed to be communing, communicating with the devil. When you answer him with the word, you're not communicating with him. You're not communicating with him. No. The word of God is a weapon. Is a weapon. You're actually defeating him. You're actually striking him. 
because it is a we weapon, it is a sword. So you are striking the devil, hence he left Jesus for a season, right? He will leave you. He will leave you. The Bible says submit to God, that is uh, surrender to his will, surrender to his word, adhere and haken to his words. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. He might come and forge those weapons, but they will not prevail because you are a part of the body of Christ. And he says, this, this revelation that Peter got of Jesus being the rock, it is the rock which the church is built upon and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You being the part of the body, you are a part of the body, you are a member of the body. So no devil will ever prevail against you. Amen. Stop listening to him. Stop partnering with him and stop agreeing with the devil. God said, so it settles it, whatever it is, whatever it is. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he knows his sheep and the sheep know his voice. Father, let it be that when you speak to us, O oh God, that we hear you, that we recognize your voice, that we do not agree with any other voice but yours. Father, we thank you that you are God and that not only are you God, the King, the Judge, the Righteous Judge, but you are our Father. Lord, we thank you, God, that Lord God Almighty, you will never and never allow anything to come between us and you. Because before we were even saved, you loved us. And now that we are your children, O oh God, you will never leave, nor will you ever forsake us. You've engraved our names and the palms of your hand. Lord, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord.